everybody. It is Vince Russo of Russo's Brand, and I am here today to tell you I am so sick and tired of the effing liars, politician, con men, carnies that are all a part of professional wrestling. I'm sick of it, bro. I am sick of the bullshit. I am sick of the lying. I am sick of the tall tales. Every single time, bro, in my career, if I made a statement, I don't make a statement, bro, unless I could back it up with facts, unless I can back it up with numbers. Because, bro, if I'm lying and the numbers don't add up, then you're going to find out that I'm lying, bro. But the only time I bring up situations is when I have actual facts. Numbers are facts, bro. You can't change numbers. You can wish you change. You could change numbers. You can't change numbers, bro. So yesterday, the People Advice uh, sent me a screener on this bash at the beach. And, bro, I'm going to be nice to say a lot of really key important things were left out, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say they only had 45 minutes. So it, it, th this documentary honestly could have been two hours. Okay, to this day, bro, I have told the same exact story from the time that it happened until today. As a matter of fact, what some people don't understand if I actually said, yes, I went into business for myself with the Hulk Hogan promo, he knew nothing about it. If that would have been my statement, bro, do you know how over I would have been? Do you know I would have went down in wrestling history as a hero? Because this documentary is all about Hulk Hogan playing his creative card. And if I actually would have went out there and cut that promo and screwed him without his knowledge, I would have been a hero, bro. I would have been over huge. So if I wanted to get over huge, that's all I had to say. Yeah, bro, he tried to play his creative control card and I effed him. But that's not what happened, bro. The truth of the matter is that myself and Eric and Hulk knew everything that was going to happen. We were all on the same page. What happened was Hulk Hogan got home and he read on the internet that everybody bought into this and everybody believed this. And oh my God, Vince Russo finally put Hulk Hogan in his place. That pissed Hulk Hogan off, which caused him to do two things. Number one, deny that he ever knew anything about the promo I was going to cut. And number two, sue me for defamation of character. And we all saw how that turned out. But you know what, bro? Tomorrow, tomorrow, bro, for the last time, I am going to put to bed this bash at the beach bullshit. Bro, do you really think I'm going to lie about pro wrestling, bro? Do you really think I'm going to lie if he had no idea about the promo, I would gladly say, yeah, bro, he had no idea about the promo. I put him on his place. But he didn't know about the promo. And Eric didn't know about the promo. And both of them are full of shit. But tomorrow, bro, from 6.30 to 8 o'clock, for the last time, man, I'm going to answer all your questions about Bash at the Beach. Watch the documentary, bro. Serious. Watch it. It's on tonight. So tomorrow, right before Dynamite, from 6.30 to 8 o'clock, I am going to do a Q&A free on YouTube, bro. It's going to be a special chicken next. When I have the link, I will tweet it out. What I want to discuss today is Dave Meltzer, who referred to me as being dishonest. I'm, I'm a dishonest person. Where, where was I dishonest, Dave? Where was I ever dishonest? Let me tell you about dishonesty. In this documentary, I make the statement that my first three months at WCW, the numbers went up. 
Why do I make that statement, bro? Because it's a fact. Because I've looked at those numbers a billion times. And what did Dave Meltzer say? Dave Meltzer said, well, Vince Russo is a dishonest person, and he'll tell you the numbers went up. But in fact, the numbers went down. Now, this is Dave calling me dishonest. So, Dave, the numbers went down. They really went down, Dave. Well, Dave, looky here, bro. Guess what I have? I have the numbers, Dave. These are the actual numbers. If you look up here, bro, you will see the last six weeks before Ed Ferrara and myself joined WCW. The rating is 3.17, bro. Then you will see the 13 weeks where Ed Ferrara and myself took over. Oh, 3.21. What, what, Dave? Is 3.17 higher than 3.21? And, bro, the thing to really notice is, as we're building an audience, bro, the last show between Ed and I, before Ed and I took over, did a 2.6. Bro, our last show, we were up to a 3.6. Five. So we literally went from a 2.6 to a 3.5 in a matter of 13 weeks. These are the actual numbers, bro. Anyone can look them up on the on the internet. And what happened, bro? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven weeks after we left. Where are the ratings, bro? 2.78. These are the facts, Dave. These are the real numbers. So now you're going to go on, you're going to go on national TV and you're going to call me dishonest while you're making a dishonest statement. Those are the numbers, bro. The freaking debate is over. I am so tired of these bullshit wrestling carnies, bro. Why do you think, man, I could not get out of that business quick enough, bro? Why? This is exactly why. But tomorrow, guys, for you, for the last time, I will answer any and all questions, Bash of the Beach, after tomorrow, bro. Publicly, I'm never talking about it again. I Believe what you want, bro. I really don't give a shit. I just want to do this one last time because Vice, there was a lot of stuff they didn't air that was very important. And like I said, bro, I don't want to cut no promo on Spike. I mean, I'm sorry, Vice. I know it was only 45 minutes, but there was a lot left out. So tomorrow, guys, from 630 to 8 o'clock Eastern, live on YouTube, free on YouTube, a special edition of Chicken Necks. I will send out the link as soon as I have it. There you go, Dave. The real numbers. What are you going to say now, bro? What, What are you going to say now? I can't wait to hear. Take care, everybody. Bro, remember one thing. Numbers never lie.